hello guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be making this pepper sauce or a father sauce anyone you want to call it <laughs> give it a name for me please so i'll be using a tarado shombo and tatashi i guess that's the name yes and tatashi the longer steam ones are shombo right no no, no. yes the longer steam ones are shombo but with paprika Anyway, what's called it shall, but these are the three peppers I'll be using. So first of all, I had to wash everything up with salt water. I washed it properly. The next, I'm going to chop it up with this mini chopper I got from the from the local market close to me. So let's get cooking. So it's time to chop our peppers. I really don't want it to be smooth. I wanted to give it a rough blend. So is either you can use your blender to get this done, or if you have an electric processor, try. I really need to buy an electric processor because you see this one is a good app exercise. It does the job very well, though, but it's an app exercise. So if you want to exercise your crystal mother hand, this is the right chopper for you to use. So yes. I started chopping all the peppers with this mini chopper that I have here. So we'll see what it, the outcome looks like. So this is what you have. So this is how it is. This is just the texture I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to blend so smooth. I also wanted it to be this way. I wanted to give it a rough blend. So that's why I decided to use this one. But I know at times if I use my normal blender, I just use the pulse button to blend it to the consistency. I want so this is what you have my people yeah. if you have watched this point tell me why have you not subscribed to my youtube channel please give me morale kindly subscribe like comment and share my videos with your friends and loved ones thank you so next is our star ingredients for today's sauce iru and onions i wanted to ask do you wash your iru before using it or you just put it like that some people have the opinion that you should wash it i some of the opinion that you shouldn't wash it but as an Igbo girl i always wash my own out before i use it so next i'll call chop my onions next so I added my red oil inside the pot you see if you don't want your house to be full of smoke just put it the red oil in the pot to cover it up and reduce the heat for it to just bleach so i don't leave it to bleach so much because i know i'm still going to be doing some frying with the oil so i opened it up and i also had some grilled meats beef that i've already cut into the pieces i want in the freezer so i had to add it in the pot first so that i can thaw. so after adding that in the next thing i'm going to add is my onions and my iru so this is me just adding in my onions and iru inside the pot see at this point after adding this onions just allow it to steam simmer for a while then now adding your iru or more even your neighbors to come and knock <laughs> at your door so that you share this recipe with them or you share this meal with them so after i added my iru i had to leave it again to simmer for a while before adding in my pepper mix into the pots.
see one of the reasons i like this sauce is that it just needs the two ingredients and the sauce is ready because it's a local it's a native sauce so you, i just added in no seasoning cube crayfish and salt and that was all the ingredients i used for the recipe and after adding that in you just leave it to simmer for a while on fire and your sauce is ready i added salt too and this is me adding crayfish and you see my and your sauce is ready please if you have watched to this point kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share my videos thank you so the last thing i added was egg normally i don't like adding egg i always add egg i always boil egg when i'm about to serve but this one i decided to add this three boiled egg because we're eating it tonight so yeah I just added this three boiled egg to it and left it to simmer so that the sauce will enter into the egg very well. Thank you so much for watching. We will try in this recipe. What do you think that this recipe is called? This sauce is called. Would you call it pepper sauce or father sauce? Thank you for watching. 